5 Chevrolet truck and we're going to drill the column covers through to the ignition lock housing in order to access the lock bar which keeps the cylinder from turning and hopefully whenever he drills it um, it will allow the cylinder to turn freely without doing any damage to the outside housing of the ignition cylinder or its cover. Here we go. What he's trying to do is drill enough depth to where he can hear the lock bar clicking to get through the actual metal on the housing itself. Okay. Now we should be able to just stick the screwdriver in there. There he goes. And it started right up. And that's how we do it. Now we can just take a key and kind of stick it in the ignition cylinder and make it look like uh, it was never stolen. Left in there. Here's the lock cylinder. There's the drilled marks on the bottom side. Here's the drilled marks on the actual cylinder itself. And then right next to where the drilled marks on that is where the uh, magnet is. And that's the drop bar. The drilled marks on that is where the uh, magnet is. And that's the drop bar.